بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي رب يسر ولا توسر وتمم بالخير So inshallah today we are going to start lesson number 16 So before we start lesson number 16 I would like to ask about the basic forms of the verb the forms that consist of three root letters we have learned four basic abwab so do you remember the names of these four basic abwab that we have learned from for the thulathi mujarrad the the verb that have three root letters what are those any ideas do you remember anything four abwab we have learned alif nun ya and ta no no i'm talking about the three root letters try it daraba fataha samia ah daraba fataha no nasara no again samia daraba fat daraba nasaba fataha fatiha sam no again nasara nasara daraba fataha samia samia Yeah up till oh. now you yani you should have like learned them because the first four they are basically the three above they are the verbs that have three root letters for example fa'ala yaf'al fi'lun so we call them thulathi mujarrad that means that they have only three root letters so when you say nasara you should know at least five things about nasara so what are those five things that you should know about nasara you should know the past the present masdar fail al amr and fail al nahi because now we have learned the present the past the present and then the masdar and then fail al amr and fail al nahi so when we talk about when we say nasara we should know five things so what are those things for example nasara yansuru nasran unsur la tansur so you should know five things right nasara yansuru nasran unsur la tansur okay then we have <clears throat> daraba so it should be daraba Yes. Yadribu Yoraban Arban Idrib Idrib La Tadrib La Tadrib La Tadrib Excellent. So this is like this is how we should know. We should have these at least five things on our fingertips because we have to practice and we have to have them in our fingertips in order to proceed. And then there is a part where we have to understand, and then there is a part where we have to memorize. memorization is a part of learning as well so we have to sit like kids and we have to memorize and then we have nasara daraba fataha what about fataha fataha yaftahu fataha fataha iftah la okay and then the last one that we have learned is samia ismo mm -hmm. uh, saman isma uh, isma la la tasma excellent so those are the ones that are called thulathi mujarrad that means they have only three root letters as we can see here that we have fa ala so we have fa which is number 1 ain is number 2 and lam is number 3 so these have three root letters and we call them that that is bab number or the first group that is group number 1 so group number 1 belongs to the verbs that have three root letters then we have the verbs that have more than three root letters so we call them abwab thulathi mazid fi mazid fi yani added one something has been added the addition has been made <clears throat> and then they have more than three root letters okay <clears throat> number 2 for example is fa'ala so the addition of tashdeed so i told you to remember three things tashdeed alif and hamza tashdeed alif and hamza for example fa'ala you fa'ilu taf'ilan so we don't as of now we don't need this one because it will be a little bit too much for you so the only thing that we need to know that um, this bab fa'ala fa'ala has two masadir but the second one is not very common so we will first focus on the first one and then when we need to learn the second one inshallah by that time you will be able to learn that one as well similarly and the bab number 3 or the group number 3 which is fa'ala yufa'ilu mufa'alatan okay so this is number 2 and here alif is extra so as you can see here tashdeed is extra here alif is extra here and in the fourth one 
Hamza is extra. It is of ala yuf ilu if alan, where we can see that Hamza is extra. Now, why do we need to memorize as of now? We need to only know the Mazid fi above their names. And then as we discussed earlier that they have some specific characteristics. For example, why do we have to change um, a, a verb from fa'ala to fa'ala? And when it changes from fa'ala to fa'ala, what change takes place? So inshallah, these characteristics we will learn slowly but surely. So the first one today, I'm giving you uh, one verb on, on this version, on this pattern that we have to memorize. That is sabbaha yusabbihu tasbihan. What is that? Sabbaha yusabbihu tasbihan. Tasbihan. That's the only verb that we have to memorize. And we will memorize one inshallah today, one tomorrow, one after tomorrow, and on the fourth day, we will just uh, go through the summary. So inshallah, by the end of this week, you should have memorized form number three, two, three, and four. So and on this pattern, which uh, which verb did I give you now? Okay, so inshallah, like this. Uh, and then I will give you a small uh, sentence, which will include these four uh, abuab, and inshallah, then it will become more fluent and easier for you. But as of now, we only need to know sabbaha yusabbihu tasbihan. All right. So in this lesson, the one that we are doing now in 16, lesson number 16, and the, verb, the verb form that has been used is af'ala yuf'ilu if'alan. This one has been used. Okay. So the sheikh decided to start from this one because we have to start from either of the forms. So the sheikh knows better the author of the books. So he started from the fourth one, which is Af'ala Yufi'lu if Arlen. In this pattern, which verb do we have in the lesson? Do you remember? Which verb do we have in the lesson on this on this group, on this version? I want. Yalla try. Uridu? Yes. Arada. Arada, Arada. Yuridu. Arada yuridu, and uh, the the master is iradatan. Why it has uh, extra tamarbuta? We will talk about this later. But as of now, we will say that it is arada yuridu iradatan. Arada yuridu iradatan. So that is the fourth form of the verb, uh, or the fourth group, inshallah, that is being discussed in this lesson. As we remember, or if, as you remember, that we already started this lesson, and we went through the first page. So do you remember anything that we learned in the first page? No? Okay, at Darsu Sadis Ashara. Now, have you noticed something here? Here we have at Darsu, and here it has a Sadis Ashara. Why it is not at Darsu a Sadis Ashara? Did you uh, think about it or did you ever like notice like why it's it's not adarsu asadisu ashara? Do you remember that the numbers from 11 to 19, 11 to 19. they are mabni al-fatih. They are mabni al-fatih. Okay. So it can be either uh, it can be either this it can be either sitta ashara or sitta ashara or it can be Sadis Ashara, we know that the numbers are ordinal and cardinal, that they can be on the pattern of Fa'ilu, for example, Thalithu, uh, Rabiu, Khamisu, Sadisu, and they can also be on the pattern of, uh, which is the regular pattern, for example, Wahidun, Ithanani, then Thalathatun, Arbaatun, Khamsatun, Sitatun. So these numbers we have learned. So this number here is on the pattern of Fa'ilu. So Adarsu is basically lesson, and then Asadisa is basically it's uh, what construction is this adarsu as sadisa no lesson number 16 we know that if a noun is equal in four things which is arab 
मुरक्का भी तो सी सी इट्स इट्स द कंबिनेशन ऑफ noun and adjective the numbers are always adjective they are used as adjective now they are equal in number adarsu and arsadisu so that means adars is singular and arsadis these huruf are singular then uh, they are equal in gender both of them are masculine they are equal in capacity for example both of them are proper nouns and they are equal in arab status how are they equal in arab This one has dhamma and this one has fatha. Mosuf sifa, excellent. Because we know here a darsu has dhamma and a sadisu. Basically, it should be a sadisu, but we know that the numbers from 11 to 19 are mabni al al fatha. So we will say that this is mahallan marfu, but lafdan it is mansub. Mahallan it is marfu, and it's in the place of rafa. So it's basically a darsu, a darsu, a sadisu. But we know that the numbers from 11 to 19, they will be always mabni al al fatih. So that's why it is a darsu, a sadisu, a shara. I hope it's clear now. Yes, sir. Okay, al ab aturi duna shayin min al suqi ya abnai. Because we have learned or we have gone through the first page, so I think we will go only through the text and the. Uh, the translation and inshallah i'm sure you know the grammatical aspects so aturiduna shay'an min as-suqi ya abna'i why it is turiduna because the father is talking to that okay. person his son abna'i his son right so that that's why person. yeah aturiduna shay'an min as-suqi ya abna'i oh my sons do you want anything from the market ana al-ana adhabu ila al-masjid I'm going to the masjid now. Masta adhabu ila suqi baada salati, and I will go to the market after the prayer. This part is clear. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Al al abnau now the sons. Naam nuridu ashia a kathiratan. We need a lot of things. Ashia a kathiratan. It is mansub. Why? Because nuridu has. The verb and the subject, both of them are included here, and then ashia a kathiratan is mafool bihi, which is the object. Okay, ashia a kathiratan. Why do we have here fatha and here we have fatha tain? Because ashia is an animate plural, so we consider it as singular feminine. Singular feminine. Singular feminine. And that's why it's a noun adjective. So that's why the adjective is adjective is also singular feminine. Okay, question number two. Here we have fatha, and here we have fatha tain. Why it is not ashia un or ashia an kathira tain? Because ashia is like la. Yeah. It's a dimtoot. It's a mamnu min al sarf. It does not accept. It does not accept the noon because it is mamnu min al sarf. It's basically ashia u on the pattern of af ela u. And any noun that comes or happens to be on the pattern of af ela u, it will be partially flexible. Alab, mada turidu ya Umaru. What do you want, O oh, Umar? And we know that Umar is also um, partially flexible. Why is that? Quickly, it's on the pattern of fuulu. Yes, it's on the pattern of fuulu, and also it's a proper noun. Yeah, so that's why it is mamnu min asarf, and we call that adil and madul. Madul. Okay, Umaru, uridu kalaman. I need a pen. This one is simple, right? Subject, verb, and then object. Al ab. Ama inda ka kalaman. Don't you have a pen? Umaru, bala. Why not? Indi kalaman azraku. I have a blue pen. Uridu kalaman ahmara, and I want a red pen. I sent you today um, a document about the num colors and the defects. If you are able to go through that, so number, sorry, the the colors and the body defects they come on the pattern of afalu for masculine. So in the kalaman azraku, I have a. Blue pen. Azraku. Why not azrakun? Kalamun azrakun. All the colors are on the pattern of, of blue. 
أفعلوا and ممنوع من الصرف excellent so قلمون is موصوف and as the is so far as we said that all the colors are adjective أريد قلم أحمر I need a red pen okay now here we have قلم أزرق وهير we have قلم أحمر why it is not قلم أزرق because it's uh, late Mubtada. It is Mubtada. And it is Khabar. And we know that Mubtada is always Marfur. Excellent. Mubtada Mokhar. It's Mubtada Mokhar and Khabar is Mukaddam. That's right. And what about here? Uridu Kalaman Ahmara. Why it's Kalaman? Because of Uridu. It's Maful Bihi. Yes, excellent. It's maful bihi, yes, irfa, or it's not number one and number four verb form. So that's why it is uh, always, it will be a mansub when it, it comes after any other uh, form of the verb, which is not number one and number four. So, uridu qalaman ahmara, I want a red pen. Al-ab, madha turidu anta ya amru? What do you want, oh, amr? Okay, so what do you remember about the difference between amrun Amru uh, is a proper noun, sir, with verb. Yes, both of them are proper nouns, of course, yes. Uh, Amru has verb. Wa uh, wow. Yes. Why does it have wow? Do you remember? Yes. Make it different from Omar. Excellent. Different To differentiate between Omar and uh, Amrun, because what happens in, in Arabic, the verb, the, the books, they do not have the, the vowel signs, okay? So if we see here, this is this is also Umar and this is also Umar. So the wow basically differentiates that this is Umaru and when wow is added, that means this is Amrun. That's number one. Number two, Umaru is Mamnu Minas Sarf, whereas Amrun is not Mamnu Minas Sarf. Mm -hmm. So it will be Amrun. Amran and Amrin. And here there is no um, there is no tanween because of ya. We know that the noun that comes after ya will always be marfur. So it will be ya amru. Now we when we begin, we can also say amrun. So uridu kalam, uridu daftaran. I need a notebook. So this one is clear now. Uridu is a verb and subject and the fteran is object. I need a notebook. Al-ab, amashtaraytu laka daftaran fil usbu' al-madhi. Didn't I buy you a notebook last week? Okay, ishtaraytu is also one of the mazid fi forms, like one of the extended forms of the verb. As of now, we only need to know that this is one of the extended forms of the verb and inshallah, we will learn them all slowly but surely. Didn't I buy you a notebook last week? Amrun, bala, why not? But that notebook is without the lines, but that is unruled and it does not have lines. Ghayru, what do you remember about Ghayru? Special mudaf, sir. It is special mudaf, excellent. That's number one. And number two, it is used. It is used as a prefix. It is yeah. The noun that follows it will be majroor. That's number one. And number two, it is a prefix. Make it negative, sir. Which, there is a he like this. Yeah, which uh, turns like a positive idea into negative idea. For example, we say in English, we say do, and then we say undo. We say complete and we say incomplete, right? Able and we say unable. So we use like different uh, prefixes. We use, sometimes we use un, sometimes we use in, but in Arabic, we use only one, which is غيرو. And غيرو changes a positive idea into negative idea. So if a notebook has has uh, lines, we will say ذو مسطرين. And if it doesn't have lines, we will say غيرو مسطرين. And it does not have lines. And in Surah Fatiha, we have غير Yes. Yes, please. Hello. 
Okay, so maybe it's disconnected. So غَيْرِ maghdubi, not the ones who have been or who have the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And وَلَبْضَالِين also, not the ones that who have gone astray. أُرِيدُ دَفْتَرًا ذَا وَرَقٍ مُسَبْطَرٍ I want a notebook with lines. Uh, brother, I cannot hear you. Maybe there is a connection with problem with the connection. You can type your question if you want to. Okay. Mada Turidu Anta Yahishamu. What do you want, O Hisham? Hishamun, Anama Uridu Shayan Al Ana. I do not want anything right now. Ma Uridu. What if Hisham says, Ana La Uridu Shayan Al Ana? Never want, sir. Yeah, both of them uh, mean like, I don't want, but Ma specifies present tense only to the current situation. Yeah, Whereas when you say la uridu, that means you don't want it, like even in everyday life, it's like your habits that you don't want to have that thing, so you will say la uridu. But when you say ma uridu shayan, now you specify it to the current situation. That's why we have here al ana, yani right now. Okay, al ab, ain akhuka al husaynu. Where is your brother al husayn? Okay, al husayn is what. What's the Arab of Al Hussein and what is grammatical status? Is it proper nouns? Badal. It's Badal, yes. Uh, brother, Ghaira uh, means not and Bidun means uh, without. Ghaira is translated as not and Bidun means uh, without. And you say, I, I want uh, tea without uh, sugar. So, uridu shayan, bidun sukkar. It would mean without. In English, as we say without, and then in Arabic, ghayru means not. For example, we have here word musattarin with the lines, and ghayru musattarin without the lines. Similarly, we say muslimun, and then we say ghayru muslimin, the one who is not muslim. Okay, uh, what is it? Akhuk al Husaynu. It's Badal. Okay. What's the ending of Al Husayn? Yani al Husayn. It should say Dhamma or Fatha or Kasra. Fatha. Uh, again. Dhamma. Dhamma. Okay. So why do you say Fatha and why do you say Dhamma? I say Dhamma because Ahu has a wow. So that's Marfua. Excellent. Uh, so Badal has to have the Arab of Mubdal Minhu, right? So we know that Ahuka is Marfur. And how do we know it is Marfur? This wow is the symbol of Marfur that we have Marfur. learned. Like there are five special nouns at Asma'ul Khamsa. So when they come with wow, they are always Marfur. For example, Abu. Aba, Abi. Ahu, Aha, Ahi. So Ahu is Marfu. That's why uh, the Badal, the word that is used as Badal, has to be the same as the Arab has to be the same, which is Al Husaynu. Ahu Al Husaynu. Where is your brother Hussein? And why Al has been added? There are very few names uh, where Arabs have used Al, and they have used Al uh, as, uh, as it is like they wanted to use. For example, Al Hassan Al Hussein Al Al Abbasu, but we cannot use Al with every proper noun because proper noun is already a proper noun. Alam is already Alam, and we don't need to use Al. Here, this Al is Zaida. This is extra. It doesn't mean that Hussein. When we added Al, it has become a proper noun. Hussein is already a proper noun, but Al is extra, which sometimes with some names Arabs have used, and they are very few, as we have discussed now. Hishamun huwa fil hammami. He is in the bathroom. So this one is clear. Huwa is a subject and fil hammami is predicate. Mubtada and khabar. Al ab. Mada turi. Mada yuridu huwa. What does he want? So mada yuridu. What does he want? Huwa is more emphatic. 
and also it is badal for yuridu. What does he want? Hishaman, who are yuridu halawa, he wants sweets. He wants sweets. Halawa, as we can see, the ending is mamlum in a surf. Uh, as this is alif maqsura, so we cannot change it. It will be always like this. Who are yuridu halawa? Al ab, maada turidna ya banatu. What do you want, O oh, girls or O oh, daughters? Turidna, which form is this? Now there are two ways. Either you memorize the tasrif and you start from like uh, you read Yes, Antunna, excellent. Antunna turidna, that's right. Maada turidna ya banatu. Yes, second person, feminine plural. Right. So what do you want, O oh, daughters? Aisha tu. Now they say, Ya Abati, O oh, my father. And we know that Abati is a very beautiful expression of calling Ya Abi. So it is also one of the expressions of saying, O oh, my father. So uh, Aisha, Ya Abati, Anta Shtareita, yani Anta Ishtareita. And we can see that this is Hamzatul Wasl. So it is Anta Ishtareita li milafan qabla usbuin. You bought me a folder or a file a week ago. Urid al ana milafan. And how we will connect anta? Anta shtarayta. It's kasra. Anta. Mabni lal fath. Mabni. So last time you told that when you connect, you will connect with kasra. When we connect sakin, then we connect with kasra. Oh, sorry. Anta is not sakin. It has fath, right? Okay. You bought me a folder or a file a week ago. Now I want another folder or another file. Uridu, I want Alana now. Milafan. So Uridu is the subject and the verb. And then Milafan is the, is the object. And Akhara is the adjective used for Milafan. I want another file. Akhara means another. Akhara, this word is also mumnum in a surf. We have already learned in the previous lessons. It was akharu, but here because it is used as adjective, so bilafan is mansub. That's why akhara is also mansub. I want another file. Alab, ma'ada turidina anti ya hafsatu. What do you want, O oh, hafsa? So anti is here and ya hafsatu is used as monada. So Maada turidina, which verb form is this? Anti. Anti. So feminine. feminine, singular, mukhatab, the one that you are talking to. Ina. Okay. Yeah, this is the exceptional one with the on the on the version of Ina. So Maada turidina anti ya hafsatu. What do you want? Oh hafsa. Hafsa. Uridu haqibatan. I want a bag. So this is simple, right? Al ab ama indaki haqibatun. Don't you have a bag? Hafsa, bala, why not? Indi haqibatun hamra'u. So now, haqibatun hamra'u. Why not haqibatun ahmaru? Because of feminine. For the feminine, the feminine, the colors will be on the pattern of fa'la'u, right? So, fa'la'u. So, ahmaru, hamra'u. So haqiba is noun and hamra is adjective. So I want a red bag. Uridu haqibatan ukhra sauda. And I want another bag or I want another black bag. Okay, so now ukhra. Feminine of akhr. So akhr is used as masculine and the feminine of akhr is ukhra. So she says, I want one black bag. So she has red one, but she wants a black one as well. Ukhra, sauda, so another black bag. Okay, now this one is clear, this part. Ukhra, sauda, is this part clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, father says, turidina ya su'adu? What do you want, O su'ad? She says, indi mistaratun sagiratun. I have a small ruler, ruler for like for for the lines, making lines. So I have a small ruler. Uridu ukhra kabiratan. 
I want a big one, another big one. Okay, now Miss Paraton, any reflections Sir, about uh, the patron? Mm -hmm. Is the family of is Akhar? It's Mabni al Why uh, we used to write ya, sir? This is extra ya. It's called Alif Maksura to differentiate between Akharu and Ukhra. Then Allah must have a standing fatha. We have, yes, it's, it must have standing fatha, but in regular Arabic, like uh, in the Arabic books, uh, the standing fatha is not written. They only write normal fatha and then Alif Maksura or Ya is added. Which means that it will be we will read it ukhra. Oh. In in Urdu or like the, the the script that we have like in our countries, like in subcontinent, it is written with standing fatha. But the Arabic transcript will be like this. Mistaratun, do you remember any word on this pattern? Mifalatun. Mif Ismulal. Mik Nasatun. Mirwahatun Milakatun Ismulala Ismulala, excellent. So we have learned already Miknasatun and Mirwahatun. Mirwahatun means a fan. And then we have learned Milakatun, that means a spoon. And now we are learning Misparatun. Uh, as of now, we only need to know the patterns, the Auzan. And all of these will be discussed, inshallah, in book three. But you already now, now, mashallah, you know that Misparatun is on the pattern of Mif'alatun, and this is Ismul Ala. Are those diptochs in the plural? Sorry? Are all of those dip memnuah um, minasarf in their plural? In plural, that's right, yes. They will be, because they are on the pattern of Mafailu, for example, Masatiru. And we call that Muntah al Yani, this is the end. After that, you cannot make further plural. For example, we have Qawlun, uh, singular. Aqwalun is plural. And then we have Aqawilu, which is further plural. So Aqawilu, after that, we cannot make further plural. Similarly, we have Makanun and Amkinatun and Amakinu. Amakinu, after that, we cannot make further plural. So that is called Muntah al Yani, after that, we cannot make any further plural. So when you say masatiru, masatiru is on the pattern of mafailu. So that's why it will be mamnu minasarf. Okay. Uh, what is ismul? Ismul ala uh, Brother, can you? Um, I didn't get your question. So can you please retype? Sir, he is asking about Ismulala. Oh, Ismulala. It's a noun of instrument. Instrument. Any kind of instrument. Uh, we can say it's a tool, sir. Tool or instrument, yes. So uh, any word that belongs to this category, either it's a tool or instrument, it will be on the pattern of Mif'alatun. So Misparatun is considered as a tool. Ismul Ala. And inshallah, we will discuss uh, in detail in book number three. But you should only know that any word that comes on the pattern of Mif Alatun with Kasra, that means it is an instrument. And what do you want, O oh, Layla? Layla says, Uridu Mushafan that the Harfin Kabirin. I want a copy of the Quran with big letters. Uridu mushafan the harfin kabirin. Now you know that harfin kabirin is mudaf mudafaleh because the is used as mudaf. Okay, why it is why here it is used the? Why not the or the? Because it's the the mafail of the it's oh no, because it's a gnat. It's a gnat. It's an, an adjective. Ad adjective, that's right, yeah. So it's used okay. as adjective for the noun that comes before it. So mushaf is mansub, that's why the has to be mansub as well. And then it has its own grammatical function as well, which is it is used as mudaf. So the noun that follows it will be mudaf ilay. Did you get it? 
So it yeah. is connected to the noun that is before it, and then it also has impact on the noun that follows it. So uridu mushafan wa harfin kabirin. I want a copy of the Quran with big letters. Al ab ama turidu ama shayan ya Salma. Don't you want anything, O Salma? And Salma says again, as we can see, Alif Maksura, so we will read it as Salma, Layla, Bala, again, Bala here, so it should be standing Fatha, but it won't be written over there. Salma says, Uridu Mojaman in Kilizia or in Kilizian, Wa Akhara, Firansian. I want an English dictionary and one French dictionary. So she wants two dictionaries, Marjaman, Inglesian, wa Akhara, Firencian. So I want one English dictionary and the other a French dictionary. This part is clear. Is there any word for dictionary also other than Marjaman? Marjam is the exact word that should be used, but uh, there is also the word Qamus that is used for the dictionary. Basically, Qamus al Mahit was the first dictionary that was compiled by the person, and the name became so famous that even dictionary is called Qamus, but Qamus means Bahar, it means ocean. So the real word that should be used for the dictionary is Morjam, as we can see here. Uridu Morjaman in Kilizian wa Akhara Frenzian. Al Ab Amat Uridu Ummu Kishayan. So doesn't your mom want anything? Okay, why to read? The third person said. She, right? She and then it's confirmed when we see here, ummuki, yeah? So it's confirmed yeah. that. So your mom doesn't want anything, Shayan, anything. Um, Salma, ma adri. Sorry, if we read ummuka. Okay, if, yani for Salma, should be ummuki. Okay, okay. Umuka so for, this is connected with Salma. Yeah, with Salma. If it's Irfan, then it should be ummuka. Okay, Salma, ma adri, I don't know. As aluha, should I ask her? As alu, sala yes alu, as alu, I ask. As aluha, should I ask her? And ha refers to the mother, right? Al ab naam, is aliha, yes, ask her. Now you have to tell me the difference, and inshallah, I'm sure you will be able to tell me. Why here it is as aluha and here is is aliha? The second one is, is fellow amr. Excellent, fellow amr. So the first one is modare, which is the present tense. Should I ask her? And the father says naam, yes. and then the father is asking her naam as ali. Then you ask for the feminine. For the masculine, it will be is al, and then for the feminine, ya will be added. It will be is ali, and then the attached pronoun is ha, which refers to mother. It says dam is ali ha, yes, ask her. Salma takhruju leaves umma tadkhulu, then she enters ba'd qalilin after a while. So takhruju thumma tadkhulu ba'd qalilin, she leaves and enters after a while. تَقُولُ إِنَّهَا تُرِيدُ ثَلَاثَةَ أَمْتَارٍ مِنْ هَذَا الْقُمَاشِ تَقُولُ She says, now it refers to the mother, okay? If you're, I'm talking to you, so I will say, مَاذَا تَقُولُ What are you saying? But when we say تَقُولُ, it refers to the mother. She says, إِنَّهَا Why it's إِنَّهَا? Why not أَنَّهَا? Hela, quickly. After, uh, تَقُولُ 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 Yes, any form of قَالَ after that we have to use إِنَّهَا Innaha turidu, she wants thalathat amtarin, three meters min hadal qumashi from this fabric. She wants three meters uh, from this fabric. Thalathat amtarin, we can see here that these, the numbers from three to ten will be used as mudaf mudafile, and they will be opposite in gender as well. So it was basically mitron, which is singular masculine. And that's why the number is, here is feminine, thalathata amtarin. So the plural of mitrun is amtarin, meters. Yeah. Take this sample, oh my father. Khud. What do you remember about khud? Khud. 
It's a special fill alarm. Special, yeah? It should be khud, but the Arabs, they find it difficult to read, so that's why it has become khud. You take khud. Khud, namudaja. Yeah, but you take this uh, sample of my father. Sa'ashtari lakum ma turiduna insha'Allah. Sa'ashtari, I will buy lakum for you. Ma turiduna insha'Allah. Whatever you want, if Allah wills. Okay, why it is turiduna? Why not turidna? Because he's addressing his sons, right, sir? Again, please. <laughs> Addressing, addressing his sons and asking. Yeah, asking there are, mashallah, many girls there, Salma, and we have like many daughters as well. Because it's all plural. Uh, there is a preference of male or female. Prince of Again, please. There's a preference in Arabic for the males over females. La. Even Allah addresses uh, like many ones. Yes, yes. I mean, there is no uh, preference because Allah says in the Quran. In akramakum, in There is no preference in deeds. Yeah, or whoever does good deeds, he will be given preference. This is grammatical preference. So when just to differentiate, just to make it easier. So if you have like 99 females and you have one male, still we will consider them as male. And the example is in the Quran, Allah says, Ya ayyuhalladina amanu. So ayyuhalladina, alladina is used for the masculine plural. And Amanu is also used for the masculine plural. So would that mean the address is only for the for the male, for the for the gents? No, it means that it includes all male and female, feminine. masculine and feminine. So because uh, there are some boys and girls, so that's why it has been used to read una, and that means what all of you want. Uh, so inshallah. So I will buy whatever you want. So we will say this is the uslub of the Arabic language. We will not say that there is any specific preference for anyone for anything, because all human beings are equal, except for those who have good deeds will be given preference by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, sir, we use this if we are uh, mm -hmm. talking or saying to both male and female. Excellent. If the audience is both, if the audience is mixed, audience, male okay. and female, okay. then the preference, the, the, then the verb or then the noun will be used only for the masculine, uh, just to make it like uh, clearer and, and and that's it. This is how it is used in the Arabic language. For example, if I ask you, afahimtum. So when I say afahimtum jayyadan, fahimtum is used only for the masculine, but you are both like the audience is both masculine and feminine. If I say afahimtunna, that means I'm only asking the ladies. Yeah, the ladies, the, the, the addressee are only the ladies. But when I say afahimtum, then that means I'm asking both a male and female. So afahimtum jayyadan, this is a question. What is your answer? Yes, no. Nam Fahimna Yeah, Alhamdulillah. It's it's not that you have to repeat what I'm saying, it's what you have to say that what you feel like. Okay. All right, Tamarinu, we have exercises. Ajib Anil Asilatil Atiya. Answer the following questions. Okay, so who is going to answer the first question? Mata is Habul Abu Ilasuki. When the uh, when does uh, your father go to the market? Yet Habu Ilasuki Bada Salat. He goes to the market after the prayer. Yet Habu Ilasuki Bada Salati. Or you can also translate it as he will go. Uh, to the market after the prayer Sayyid because Sayyid Sayyid yes yes because when we say yadhabu then we can translate it as both present and future but when we want to specify it only to the future then we will use sayyadhabu okay sir clear okay sir so if you remember in the introduction of the in the present tense mudare 
I said that Yadhabu will be translated as he goes, it will be translated as he is going, and it will be translated as he will go. So three translations are possible. For example, you say Ana Adhabu Ilal Amal. So Ana Adhabu Ilal Amal, I am going to work, or I will go to work, or I am going, uh, uh, I go to work. If you say Ana Adhabu Ilal Amali Kulla Yawmin, then how will you translate it? Every day. I go. Every day. So it is only it's only yeah. present tense, okay? If you say Ana Saadhabu Ilal Amali Al Yawma. I will, I will, go, I will, I will only work. for the future, yeah? And when you say, yes, ana, ana ila amali, so it can be translated as, I go, I, I am go. going, and I will go. I will go. Yes. All right. So, yurid al Husaynu? What does Hussein want? Hussein yurid halwa. Halawa, yeah? Halawa. Yes, so, yuridu halawa or Husainu yuridu halawa. He wants some sweets. Okay, number three. Mada turidu suadu. What does suadu, suadu want? Turidu mas. No, sorry. Kabira. Miss. I need to go back. Miss Oratan. Kabira. Kabira Tan, yeah. Turidu, Miss Oratan, Kabira Tan. She wants a big ruler. Okay, Turidu will be translated as you want or she wants? Uh, she, she wants. wants. So she okay. wants. Third person. Okay, what if I have here Yas or Adu? Turidina. Excellent. Turidina. Mother, Turidina, Yas or Adu. Perfect. So when we, when we have a name, the name will always be the third person, it will always be the third person. But when we add ya, yeah, then it becomes the second person. Okay. Okay. Maniladi Yuridul Mistarata. Who wants the ruler? Okay, so Adu, Yuridu or Turidu? So Adu is permanent. So are this family. So, family. Turidu. 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 Because turidu. for Anta and Hiya, it is Turidu, right? Yes. So Turidu, okay. Suradu, Al-Mistarata. Al Suradu wants okay. a ruler. Turidu. So Turidu is a little bit confusing because it can be you want and it can be she wants. Okay. So again, we will just uh, okay. differentiate from the background or from the context. We will know that whether we are talking to the second person or we are talking about the third person. In this case, Suad is a name and the name will always be third person. Please write it down. Name will always be the third person unless it comes with Ya. When the name comes with Ya, it will be the second person. Otherwise, it will always be the third person. Fatima, Duwa, Zainab, Aisha, tu, always third person. But when you say Ya Fatima, Ya Aisha, Ya Zainab, it is the second person. Bilalun, Wa Hamidun, Wa Irfanu will be the, the third person. But when I say Ya Bilalu, Ya Irfanu, Ya Husaynu, then it will be the second person. And let's not forget that we don't use Ya for the, for the dead. It is only used for someone who is right in front of us. So it doesn't mean when we say Ya Husaynu is like the Hussein is listening to us, that's not possible. It's only when you are talking to someone in front of you. All questions that did you go uh, and uh, see what the Mahal Ustad? You said you will look into it. Yes, uh, for which one? Uh, because it is Mahal Nasab. I think uh, if it is a name, it is Mabni, but still it is Mahal Nasab, right, Ustad? It is. Because it is you said you... Yes, yes, I checked. It is. It is basically uh, the subject and the verb is Mahduf, which is Unadi. Yeah. I Unadi Ya Bilalu. I am calling O Bilal. So Unadi is basically subject and verb, which is Mahdhuf, and Ya Bilalu will be in the place of uh, Mansub. So Mahal. we will say that this is yeah. this is Lafdan, it is Marfu, and Mahallan, it is Mansub. It's in the place of Mah yeah. uh, Nasb. Thank you very much. Yeah, I was but able to have a look. Yeah, it will be Mabni, uh, Mabni no, that three uh, vocatives will be Mabni. That is, uh, 
Yes. Yeah, we will only focus on the one that is used in the Quran, which okay. is basically Mabni al Fatah, sorry, al uh, Dhamma, okay. which will make it easier for us because this is a long discussion. And if then they the say that comes, it will be Mabni, but Mahal Nasab, no, Ustad. If yes, the name comes like Ya, Ya Bilalu, Ya Muhammadu, Ya, it is always in the place of Mansub because, as I said, I am calling O Bilal, so I am calling so, is basically Mahduf. Yeah, okay. So it's okay. Unadi. Unadi means I I call. Unadi is the subject and the verb. And Ya Bilalu is the object. So Unadi is, which is Mahduf, Ya Bilalu is in the place of the Nasb. So we will say that it is Mahal and Nasb in the place of Nasb. Okay, Mada Turidul Ummu. What does the mom want, the mother want? What does she want? To redo, she wants. Tata, I'm tearing three meters. Minal kum kumashi. Yeah, from the fabric. Yeah. Fabric. So it can be any fabric. Yeah, it can be any piece of cloth. So to redo, Tata, I'm tearing minal kumash. She wants three meters of fabric. Okay. Sahih ma yali. Okay, sahih. Which verb form is this? You should be able to figure it now. Tashdeed Alif Hamza, do you remember? Tashdeed Alif Hamza? Sabbih. Sabbih, excellent. It's verb form number two. Okay. Okay, so Sahih, Imayali. And you know, from the Mazid fi forms of the verb, making fail al Amr and fail al Nahi are so simple. I'm just giving you a tip. It's not grammatically correct, but I'm giving you a, click, a tip. For example, Sahaha is the past verb. For example, Sabbaha is the past verb. What is the past verb? Sabbaha, right? Okay. Now we know that when we make Fayl al-Amr, the ending has to be always Sakin. So the ending will become Sakin, okay. Now the second last root letter, the second last letter, we have to make it Maksur. And it, it becomes Fayl al-Amr. So Sabbaha, if you want to make Fayl al-Amr yes, from Sabbaha, it will be Sabbih. Sabbih. And your fail al is ready. And which surah of the Quran starts with uh, with uh, this uh, fail al amr Sabbih. So many surahs in the Quran. Yeah. Yeah. And then there are many surahs starting with Sabbaha and your Sabbih. But I'm talking about but I'm talking about the one that starts with fail al amr Only one. Sabbaha is past. Sabbaha is past. I'm talking about the... Yeah, that is also past. Oh, sorry, present. I'm talking about... I'm talking about Fail al Amr. Which one starts with Fail al Amr? Sabbih is basically Fail al Amr. And then we, when we connected with, when we connected with Kasra, so it is Sabbih is Marabbik al Ala. Okay. Yeah, and then فسبح بسم رب فسبح. What is that? It uh, comes in Surah Wahia. فسبح بسم رب فسبح زل جلالي Okay. All right. So سبح. So صحيح. It is so easy to make fellow Amr from the extended forms of the verb. From the past, what we did. The last one we made it sakin, and then the la the one that comes before it we made it with kasra. It, it became sahih mayali, and this is verb form number two. Fasabih bismihamdi rabbika wastafir. That's what I was trying to recall. Fasabih, and then that is also fil al amr as well. Okay, who is going to correct? And also, so an important point, no, Ustad, uh, because if these uh, kind of uh, this thing uh, come without haraka, then we can get confused between the past tense and uh, the amar, right? So, yes, but normally, uh, uh, when it is needed, then even <laughs> even in, in in the newspapers or any other trans uh, any written transcript of the Arabic language, they will put some of the 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 dolls over there so just to differentiate yes that's right 
Okay, you read Umar Kalam and Azraqa. Umar wants a blue pen. No, he wants a red pen. So you read Umaru, Kalaman Ahmar. Ahmara, yes. He wants a red pen. Ahmar. You read Hishaman Ashia Akapiratan. Hisha wants a lot of things. Yes. Does he? Just some guide, this thing ruled. Or unruled, something like that. It was a question answer for a question, right? No, he doesn't yeah, want. He doesn't want. Ma you he doesn't want. Ma you Ma you do. Do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't want a lot of things. Yeah. Ma you do. Okay, number three. Hafsa tu in the haki batun sauda. Hafsa has a black bag. Does she have a black one or a different color? Uh, she has a red. Uh, she has a red bag. Hamrau. Yeah, Hamrau. Ahmaru, Hamrau. Hafsatu, Madara, Hakibatun, Hamrau. Al Husaynu fil Matabahi. Husayn is in the kitchen. Oh, Husaynu fil Hamadu. Yeah. Yes, he is in the bathroom. Husseinu, fil hammami. Hussein is in the bathroom. Bathroom. All right. So, alhamdulillah, we have like uh, completed our text and two exercises. So, inshallah, we will continue tomorrow. So, what you need to uh, do on a daily basis is number one, you have to memorize the four forms of Masjid, of the Tulati Mujarrad, which is Nasara, Daraba, Fatah, and Samia. You must memorize them. And then also you have to memorize the three forms, which is the only thing that you need to memorize is Tashdeed, Alif, and Hamza. Very simple. Tashdeed, Alif, and Hamza. And the verb that I gave you is today is which one? For the second form of the verb? Sabbaha. Sabbaha tasbihan. And you know, now even you know how to make Fail Al-Amr, the Fail Al-Amr will be from the past tense. We will uh, make the ending second and then the that's second the tutor will, will take us and it will be Fellow Lamar is ready and that's it. So, Sabbaha you Sabbihu, Tasbihan and Sabbih. So, you should know four things. And La to Sabbih, number five, don't, don't uh, glorify, which is uh, just for the sake of learning. We are not saying don't glorify, but it is Sabbih, La to Sabbih. So, now inshallah, your Fellow Lamar and Fellow Nahi uh, are also ready. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh